Right. Also new tonight, the House Freedom Caucus has announced it is supporting Paul Ryan as Speaker of the House. West Michigan's own U.S. Representative Justin Amash from the Grand Rapids area is part of that caucus. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker spoke to him about the endorsement. Brian, the caucus is a group of around three dozen conservatives known to be rebellious. So it was unclear if they would support Ryan since they've repeatedly opposed GOP leaders and pushed the current speaker, John Boehner, to announce his resignation. Amash tonight tells me the caucus met with Paul Ryan early in the day and spent this evening discussing whether or not to support him. In the end, 70% of the caucus supported Ryan. That's 10% short of an official endorsement. But tonight, the House Freedom Caucus put out a statement saying, quote, a supermajority of the House Freedom Caucus has voted to support Paul Ryan's bid to become the next Speaker of the House. Just last week, Amash spoke at one of his scheduled town hall meetings in Grand Rapids. Amash told the crowd he supported Daniel Webster of Florida for the job. Tonight, he says he was singing Paul Ryan's praises. What changed? Well, we believe uh, most of the conference is behind Paul Ryan. Uh, he probably starts with over 200 votes in our conference. And uh, we feel that uh, he's made the effort over the past few days to talk to us as members and discuss some of our concerns. And we think we can work together over the next uh, few weeks to address a lot of the issues we have with the process of the House. There are a lot of rules changes that should be made. And uh, in a lot of other circumstances, there are rules that need to be followed. Does this guarantee that Paul Ryan will be the next Speaker of the House? It doesn't guarantee it. Uh, Really, it will be up to Paul to decide. Very interesting. We have that full statement from the House Freedom Caucus right now up at woodtv.com. And of course, Ryan has said he will not be the next victim of this functional Republicans in the House. So this is what he's doing, going around to each one of these big caucuses and asking for support because he right. says without it, He's not right. going to take that job. Well, and just a few days ago, we actually outlined exactly what he wanted mm -hmm. to see done before he would even accept a position like this. So mm -hmm. it's, it'll be interesting to see if he gets all of the support and exactly what he wants in order to take the job. We will see. All right. Heather, thank you.